clip-on misting fan or just your average USB clip fan along with the light kit. Whichever one you prefer. There you go. Now in the box, it kind of looks like the blades do spin counterclockwise. But again, I could be wrong. Let me see, does it? No, actually it does. No, it doesn't. It looks like it spins clockwise. Okay. Because on Amazon, on the pictures, you know how they have the pictures of what it looks like? On a couple of them, they kind of do show that the blades do spin in that direction. But again, you never know. Amazon is always causing deception. So we're not going to even go there with direction it's spinning in as long as it moves there. So let's go ahead and get this thing open so y'all can see what it looks like. This is probably going to be the main one I use over there by the computer. Although I got, is, that, is it two other clips? I got one more clip coming. That's going to end the clip collection altogether. And one little box fan or whatever and whatnot. But anyway, so that'll be tomorrow. But let's go ahead and unlock, unblock, uh, unlock, unblock, whatever. When I get tired, I can't talk right. Don't, never mind me. When I get real tired, y'all, I'll start talking all kind of crazy stuff. Anyway, let's just un, um, unbox all this and then we'll see what we're dealing with. No rule comments, please. I'm doing the best I can. But I get really tired at night like this when I have to record. Because this is the only time I have a chance to record for y'all. Then sometimes stuff just don't come out right. Whatever. So here we go. Let's unbox it. Let's see something. Well, that shows that this customer, I'm not a customer, that this company really do care about their customers because they got it so well packaged. First, open it up. The first thing you see is the manual. This company really do care about their customers. This is a very thick fan manual that tells you every single thing that this clip fan can do. And judging how the blades look, it does spin clockwise. Okay. Uh, anyways, it tells you everything that this fan can do care about you so much they really do and then they give you some kind of Amazon gift card or something like that so I have to look into that and see what they're talking about some type of Amazon thank you letter or gift card or something like that I have to see what they're talking about looks like it's a $20 gift card or a $16 gift card or something oh wait a minute this is the UK Oh, it's not, it's not out here. I don't know why they're doing that for the UK. Do they have it for the United States? It's like they don't. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't live in the UK, so this doesn't apply to me. This only applies to people that live in the UK. Okay. Well, it definitely don't apply to me. So. Huh. Okay, that's, that's weird. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's see. You got it right here for America and UK. Okay, I got it. So this one will be for America and UK. It's a redeem code. Visit uh, or, or scan QR code 
fill in the email to claim your prize, which is a $20 gift card. This is a $16. Now, I don't mean I'll get all of these because this is for the UK. You see how the dollar sign looks different? And then it looks different again for, I guess, France or whatever. DE and then FR or whatever. Hold up, right here it says. Okay, Amazon.com slash UK. And then right here, this is not Amazon.com. This is Amazon. Dot de so that's from wherever else wherever they live in their state and the amazon dot fr so for america it's amazon.com of course not co dot uk that's the uk that's why it says 15 e whatever the crap that is but for us it's 20 dollars 20 dollars so what you get is a 20 dollar gift card it's basically what it amounts to and then on the back is fr or whatever else it dot es dot jp so for america it's right here twenty dollars amazon.com america all right whatever so we'll figure all that out later or i'll figure all that out later i don't want to bore y'all with that i know y'all waiting to see this large clip fan so here we go Styrofoam, of course, which Jordan seemed to not like at all. Even more styrofoam. That's what I mean by this company really do care about their customers. This is packed so well. This is a pretty large. Fan. I think this might be a uh, an eight inch or a nine inch or even a ten inch. Even more styrofoam. And then you got a box that comes with it. So let me pull this off so y'all can see it. This might be my daily driver out of all of them. Oh yeah, this is really nice. This is really really nice. I like the way it's made too well made so far so good i don't know until i test it out but it's got a removable battery pack in the back where you can remove the battery and use it as a power bank it's got some styrofoam right here to protect the uh the clamp when you want to clamp it very nice of them to do that it's about time somebody cared enough about the customer from China. I know they're out there. They're a rarity these days, but they're out there. Let's see if we can pull this out of here. I'm not, it's styrofoam. Should be able to pull it out. Yep. There we go. It's just a uh, plastic to help protect it. Okay. So there you go. Now, let's go ahead and look for the, I'll put this down here, okay? Now, this right here, this white piece around the guard, that's the light. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not so sure if it does, if I recall correctly, that it comes with a remote. Let's see. It's just called Hand Fan. That's the brand name. It's not a Polar, David. It's not a Polar. Okay? It's not Gazelle. This company is called Hand Fan. Okay? And you can buy this, too. I know you like to buy all the same fans I buy. Every time I get one, you end up getting the same one. I know, brother. <laughs> I know. Everybody likes to buy it. But it's all good. I don't mind that at all. So I try to put a link in the video so you can get it also. I don't mind that at all, bro. Okay, so let me turn the light on so y'all can see it a little bit better. All right, that should help a little bit better. All right, let's see what's in this box over here. Okay. Let's take a look in this box.
Now, what this is right here, first of all, here is your connection. It's a really small connection. However, I sure hope it is. As much as this thing costs me, it better be. USB-C. Yep, it is USB-C, but the cord might be a little bit too short. Oh, let's see. I'm just going to put it right here in front of the fan. Now, this right here is that water tank I was talking about. Okay? This is the water tank. Now, they said that this water tank is big enough to put small cubits of ice. You can put small ices in there. And so what it does is once you put the ice in there, it's supposed to... Let's see. How does it spray? I think it sprays out right here. So what you do is you open, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm all outside the camera, doing just like Jordan, do my bad. Open this up, you put the water in there, you put like a little small crushed ice. You can't put big cubes, you can put crushed ice. And once you fill it up, it closes it up good, make sure that it's fully closed. And then just go on the back of the fan, and I think it sprays out of, it's supposed to spray out the front here somewhere? I might be putting it up. Yeah, that actually sprays out right here. That's where the water sprays out of. Yep, that's where it sprays out of. So I already got this set up, but am I gonna use this, the misting? Cause this is like for misting. Is this, is this, you know, relevant? Well, one of these days I might try it, but for right now I'm just gonna use the fan as a regular light USB fan. I'm not gonna really use this. Um, and you see it's powered by the USB right here. And you just put water in it, cold water or ice. And it's supposed to act like a um, a water misting. And it's supposed to just do mist, kind of keep you cool. I'm going to put this back in the plastic because I don't think I'm going to use it. And that way it won't get damaged. Because you never know when I might want to try that just for video purposes. I'm not going to do that tonight, but I might try it for video purposes one day. Or if I do eventually want to use it, it's available. So I'll put that aside. It's available. No, I'm not keeping the boxes. So this would just stay like this. There's nothing else in the box. We'll come back and you're ready to run the fan. Pretty big fan. It's pretty big for a, uh, a clip fan. Uh, thank y'all so much for your patience. I'm gonna get ready to run in a few minutes. Let me show y'all something before I throw this box out. I want y'all to read this right here. I want y'all to read it. I want y'all to read the specs. Right there, hand fan model, colon, HF-3A8. It says the input is 5 volts, 2 amps. The power consumption is 8.7 watts, almost 9 watts. The battery capacity is 10,000 milliamps. Backward angle 30, 360 degrees. Material is PP plus ABS, whatever that is. I guess that's the type of plastic they use. The net weight is 117 OG or 100 or 1,170 grams. 
And then it gives you all this mess right here. 360 adjustment, power light, six, six speeds. Wow, I didn't know this thing had six speeds. That's cool. Mute, whatever that is, mute. Six to 48 working hours. Whoo, that's a lot. And I think they said that you can get up to 83 hours on, uh, what do you call it? That uh, four speed, the one where it cycles through all the speeds. The natural wind or whatever they call it. Quick charge, okay. Storage clip, and then misting. Some other information right here. Most of it's in Chinese writing. Anyway, so yeah, and here's this. Okay, because I'm throwing the box away. That's why I wanted y'all to see that. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for waiting. This video is going to be long. I know, I'm sorry. But that's just how it is. It's amazing how I was able to get all those boxes in that little small trash can by the grace of God. All right, so um, let's see if this has enough juice to run it. Let's go ahead and run it. I know that's what y'all waiting for. Let's go ahead and run it. And by the way, no, it doesn't come with a remote. He has a little bit of power left. So we need to talk about that. We need to talk about how we get this done. There we go. Now it's not going to be a lot of games. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. There's folks in the Senate that are going to try to deviate all this thing. Some of them are going to try to deviate all this thing. But we need to stick together just like the Pentagon have stuck together over the last 10 months. And if we're able to do that, we'll get this bill through the Senate with a good, healthy vote. I think it's going to be north of 60 seven votes. I don't think it's going to be in the end. Once people get a chance to see this bill and what it does, I think there's going to be more than 60 seven senators. The reason why it won't get up to six speeds is because the battery is not charged enough to run all six speeds. In order to run all six speeds, you have to plug it in with the, you know, the USB cord that it came with, the USB-C cord. That's the reason why it won't get up to all six speeds because that battery is really not fully charged enough. So I don't know if you're able to hear the wind stream. It looks like y'all is, or you can. So let me see if I can power up the light. There's the light, super bright. That's the first level, that's low. Medium. Super duper bright. Oh. Okay. The misting does not work unless it is plugged into the USB port and the water is in here. Then it would tell the, the water to shoot out the misting. I'm not going to test that. But we'll try that next time. My phone is waterproof, but we'll try that next time because it's late. So the fan is running. It's not running at its full power because the battery is somewhat weak. So let me try to plug it in so y'all can get the full speed of how it runs. So 
really nice fan for about $59. You can get one of these on Amazon. Unfortunately, right now they're currently out of stock until they get more in. Thank God I got mine right on time. I didn't realize how fast these were selling, but all right, let me show you what the full power is once I plug it in. Well, I thought it had six speeds, like you said, but it looks like it only has three. I don't. There's a bit of a discrepancy. Let me see. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So it is a bit of a discrepancy, or apparently somebody's lying because on the box it says that it has six speeds, but clearly the fan only has four speeds. It has this. Three main speeds, which is low, medium, high, and then the fourth speed is when it's cycling to all three speeds. So I don't know what the problem is, but they claim that it has six, but unfortunately it doesn't. It's like that last fan I bought a while back. I don't know if you remember that little white one that oscillates at 120 degrees. They claim that that fan had 12 speeds when all it really had was 10 speeds. Discrepancy. Line. So now we know that this fan only has four speeds. And the high speed is very quiet, but it moves a lot of air. So that's about it. It only has four. There are three main speeds, and the fourth one is the um, the one where it just cycles through all the speeds. So there you go. That's pretty much it. And then you saw the light. It has a timer. And then the water mechanism, that won't work until I have that plugged into the USB. And I have either water or ice in there. And then that's when that will work. I'll have to show it off next time. Okay? All right. We're going to go through the, the uh, speeds where it just kind of like cycles through all the speeds. Oh, I thought it did. I guess not. No. seem like it's going through all the speeds. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe I'm thinking of another thing. I don't know, man. It's weird. On the manual, it claims it has six speeds, but on here, it only has four, I guess, four regular speeds. And then once you hit the other button, once you hit it again, it just turns it off. I have to read the manual and see how it and activate the other speeds, or if it even has that. I don't believe this thing, because, I mean, it only it's only going through, like, just four speeds. It doesn't have five and six.
Okay. Well, there you go. So far, it's only like your typical four speeds. And uh, I enjoy it. I like it. I like it a lot. The light is super bright. It has a timer. It has the water deal up here where you can plug that in or it runs off a of USB. and It will squirt the water on you. It has a misting fan. So, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's about an eight and a half inch, nine inch fan. And it's decent. I like it. It's fancy. So for the price, I actually do like it a lot. All right. This video is getting very long. I'm at the end it. The month of fan, man. Thanks for watching. It'll be uploaded later. And out.